My name is Lars and I'm here to show you what's new with CAM. I know that I'm not the only one who was excited when the CAM development team added 5 axes to Fusion 360. You know, adding a couple of more axes to your CNC machine does make things a little bit more complicated. However, the toolpath selection within Fusion could not be much easier. Take for example a Swarf Cut. With the selection mode set to Faces, I just have to select the angular face, hit OK and we can start that spindle. But what if you want to choose more than one surface in one operation? Well, in this update you can do just that, making it easier and create fewer operations. Next, have you ever had a customer ask if you can machine a mesh file, like STL or OBJ? Well, now you can stop shaking your head. In this update, you can throw all your favorite 3D toolpath at the mesh, finally letting me get working on this Batman model. Thanks to Mustang Dave for sharing this. A quick tip, you can go right into the cam space and start machining your file. Just make sure you select the mesh as your model when doing your setup. Also, if you want to modify the file in the mesh workspace, you will get a warning if you have not turned the preview on. It is easy to do. Just click your name, select Preferences and in the preview section check Mesh Workspace. Now you can not only machine your mesh file, but also delete, reduce and smooth that model. Let's dial back to 2.5 axis. Here is something I think will make you a day. Let me go and select a drilling operation and I'm going to make sure that I check select same diameter. Now I only have to select one hole and let Fusion find the rest. In the past our drill preview was blocked by the solid model. Now we can see the preview right through the model and give us a much better visual feedback. See how the recess on the top and the bottom of this hole is making our drill start and not penetrating the bottom? This reminds me of a tip John Saunders from NYC CNC shared the other day. Check auto merge hole segments. Our three different diameters are now merged and if I want to secure that the drill tip goes past the bottom, I can do that on the heights tab. Drill preview through the solid? That is going to be helpful. Next is a good example of a user making a good point. Sometimes when in the CAM environment you want to access your origin folder, to maybe turn on or off a work plane. In the past you had to switch back and forward between modeling and CAM. Now it's right there, right within the CAM workspace. One of my favorite things about integrated CAD and CAM is that when your geometry changes, you just have to update your toolpath. In the past, you had to go through and regenerate each setup. Now with this update, you can right click the root setup folder and generate, simulate, post the code and generate setup sheets for all the toolpath in each setup all at once. I know how you love having the 500 pound back master or MSC catalog and a dozen tool literature taking up space on your desk. However, this next update might save a tree or save you from those scary paper cuts. When editing a tool, there is now a product link at the lower left. You can now paste the specific vendor's link and right from the tool library you can go out and reorder your tools. I bet this should save some time down the road. Last CAM update in this round should make many CAM people happy. In this update, the CAM developers did their thing and added the 3D Morph toolpath. Not much to say about this other than this toolpath is absolutely perfect for machining with a constant cutting direction between two contours. This should make things smooth.